Good morning, everybody. This is week six of Veg Out with Sylvia, and this is this week's offering. We have some Swiss chard, some corn on the cob, some pickling cucumbers, some yellow squash, some broccoli, some blueberries, some garlic, some fresh onion, and we also got some lovely green beans. So today, we are actually making some green beans okay and green beans can come in different forms you have the yellow wax which is this you have your regular green bean and this is a romano or italian style green bean and then you also have a haricover which is a little bit daintier than this it's also called like a filet or a french bean all right so to prepare your beans, I've already washed them and cut most of them. You are just going to bundle them together, tap them on your cutting board, and you're gonna cut the end off where they grew. There's also this end. Okay, you can actually leave that end there, and you can actually take your bean and just snap it in half. Some beans have strings. Uh, some are actually been bred not to have strings. Or you can just take your knife and just cut across once, okay? So the other ingredient in here is garlic and our garlic has grown, has dried. And now we're eating the bulb. Okay. And you wanna peel off those outer layers. And these are huge. If you wanted to just use one, you could. And then we are going to mince it, okay? So you're gonna take it and you're gonna make small slices. You'll stack it. And then chop it. So when it comes to green beans, they are native to Peru and they are high in vitamins C and A and K, manganese, phosphorus, and you can just run through it with a knife. If you wanted to add olive oil, you could. And at this point, we're gonna add our garlic. And it didn't make a lot of noise, which is fine. The pan's not that hot, but that's okay because I don't want my garlic to burn.
Now this is a technique that you can use with the broccoli that we got, the Swiss chard. And I like this because, well, all of the nutrients are staying within the green beans because if you boil them, then all of those vitamin C uh, goodness is gonna leach out into the water. All right, this is starting to brown slightly. There's a little bit of color, so now I'm gonna add my green beans. My heat is on high. And I'm going to move the green beans so they're nice and coated in the garlic. Point, I'm going to add this is a third of a cup of water and we're going to let them steam for about two minutes with a cover on a Romano bean and sometimes you'll see in a recipe that it needs to be Frenched what does that mean it just means it's a style in which it's cut and you are going to take a paring knife and your thumb goes along the bean and then your knife goes all the way down the bean okay and that would be a French style bean now with green beans you are eating the unripe fruit and pod and if you look here this is that immature bean okay when these beans are left on the plant we will eventually get those dried beans um, in the CSA but right now you're eating again the uh, ripe fruit and pod all right, our beans have been steaming for about two minutes. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. That salt will draw out even more moisture from those beans. And I'm just gonna saute them. Until they get a little bit of color. I'm gonna just keep this moving on high heat. Now, if you wanted to add less water, you could and get more of a caramelly color. And these beans are pretty plain. If you wanted to, you could add some um, Parmesan cheese, some goat cheese when it's done, some feta, you can add some almonds or walnuts to make like a, a green bean almond bean. You could add bacon to finish. You could add some fried mushrooms or fried onions and get a variation of your green bean casserole. Or you can just toss in a little bit of acid in the form of balsamic vinegar or lemon juice. And if you wanted it spicy, you could actually add a little bit of pepper. All right, so I'm gonna keep on stirring this for another two minutes. Our beans have some nice caramelization on them and they've been cooking for about another three minutes or so. So we're going to give them a try. And this is a great dish just on its own. You could have it with some corn and that would be a complete protein, some chicken and a pad thai.
the green beans still have a little bit of crunch to them, which is exactly how I like them. If you want them a little bit more done, just cook them a little longer. Remember, um, taste and doneness is totally subjective, but this is a great quick side dish to make. Enjoy, have a beautiful day. I love you all.